in the sky over Gotham City. We're in the bat plane, folks. Oh, so awesome. It, it's such a cool looking bat plane. Whoa. Just gotta watch out for them helicopters. Right. Uh, I think this one is a bit more easier than the Batmobile, really. I do think. Oh. We'll take them. A few missiles. Oh. Them balloons full of... Uh, I think they're, like, full of uh, the Joker gas. Which I think is funny because... Um, now, spoiler if you haven't watched the um, actual movie of uh, Detective Pikachu. But I think they got the um, the whole idea for, you know, the, the R-gas and balloons um, in the Pokemon parade. I think they got that from, took that from Batman. Uh, I think, I think they did. I think I read that before, I was like, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, it's a tag thing, she was awesome. Love that movie. Me and my friend went to see it, and um, at one point during, when we were watching, all we were doing at one point was just, um, watching, we were just watching, and we were like, naming the Pokemon we see. It's like, oh look, there's so and so. <laughs> Like, we obviously paid attention to the movie as well, as I'm just, just... I say this thing is easy, you know, but... I'm just absolutely getting absolutely mauled here. Oh! Jeez, we're at the boss already. I'll just... ladder a few missiles at him. Come on. Can you go down, please? Can you, can you go down? Oh! I went down just immediately. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, I went to the next level. <laughs> oh, I tried to do that all over again. Oh god, that, that was an epic battle. So we crashed the bat plane and we're on to the Gotham Cathedral. As we're close to uh, getting to the Joker. Come here. Um, oh, I can actually go up with the back grapple. I can take the upper path. Oh, we got it here anyway. Just wait for him to shoot. Back here. Drop down. Go up again. Oh, I think that was a bad idea. I got greedy for batarangs. I just love that. You just jump at them and um, he does that knee attack. Right. He was actually wise to crouch, but I got him in the end. I do remember this level, though. There is actually a boss gauntlet. So we'll be fighting all the bosses we fought previously. Which, you know, won't be a hard task. We got them before. We'll uh, definitely beat them again. And it reminds me of um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist, where um, you fight all the bosses again, like, you know, Leatherhead, um, Rocksteady, and so on. Right. Come on. Oh, he's gonna. Oh! I, I, I knew well he was gonna do that. I was just about to get out of the way, then he got the shot in. Bastard. Right, up we go. Hey, yeah, look behind you, you dumbass. Oh, health. I will take that. Right. Uh, oh god, they're after me. Go away from me. Are you all related. Are you all look the same. Good thing they can't shoot the um, shoot through the wall. I like that. Right. Right, fuck it. Uh. Whoa. Ah, fuck the lottie. I'm just going to mosey on through. And then we go. Ah, hello. And good night. Here, have a bat rank. I should really use bat ranks in these guys. You know, just knock them off. Like so. Right. So, we got one game over. And, no, I'll take that. I'd say we'll definitely get another game over uh, once we hit um, the, the next part of the level. And probably the Joker as well. Well, that's a one-up. Thank you very much. Oh, first boss, who is it? Oh, we got the sword guy. All right, he's not bad. You just gotta jump back and forward at him. Well, just gotta jump when he uh, finishes his swing. Come on. All right, we got him, we got him. This is, again, gotta get a good distance from him to um, get the jump in. Man. I will not be surprised if I lose a life uh, a couple of times uh, in some of these bosses. Just need to get that precision. 
you. Oh, you fuck bag. Come on. Boom. Boom. And... Right. It takes a bit for, like, a peg of hell to go down, actually. Like, same for me as well, because uh, I just got hit there, and a peg of hell didn't go down yet. But it did now. See what I mean? It takes a few hits to do that. Well, at least if I do lose the life, I'll gain five batarangs out of it. Come on. And... Oh! Okay. Well, he's done. <laughs> Back from the dead. Right, that's one boss. Oh, not these clones. Right. I won't waste batarangs. They're easy to take down. Oh, I thought he was going to get the fire on me there. Right. Okay, that was that was so bad. Oh, next boss. Alright, who is it? Oh, it's you from the first level. Alright, you're not bad either. Just gotta pretty much do a similar way, just punch him in the back. Whoa. All right. Well what's funny too, they're all recolored as well, they're all red. Kicking this guy's ass. He's. I will say, he's probably one of the easiest bosses, really, once you know what to do. And the guy with the boombox, he was actually pretty damn easy. Like, I thought he was gonna be a lot tougher. I say that and I just got uppercutted. How did I get hit there? Right. That's him down, so I think there's like two more to go. Not too bad, so. I assume the next guy is either the boombox lad. I forget his name in the actual movie. Um, and then the guy with the two swords. Right. Are we on to the next one? Oh, we are. Who is it? Oh, it's yourself. Oh, we've met before. We'll do it again. You know what to do now, anyway. Come on. Oh. Did a bit of a lower jump there. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's going to do that. Anticipated it. Bye. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll take the hit. Fuck it. And we'll get there. Get the pattern down once again. Keep, keep going. So, jump Amici when he jumps over. Like so. Oh, damn it. Uh, just one wrong move. One wrong move and you'll uh, pick up your pattern. Right, we got it. And anytime now, can you go down, please? And oh, I think one more hit. Boom. See what I mean? It takes a couple of hits for like uh, a bit of health to go down. Right. We got these guys again. Well, these guys take more hits this time. Interesting. Right. Knock you out. Anytime now, shoot away. You're not gonna hit me. Right. I think this is the last one. And we all know who it is. The guy with the boombox. Right, where is he? Oh, here, here he comes. Hmm. Come on. Can't grapple up. Right. Here he comes. He's going to throw that boombox out. Come on. Anytime, lad. Whoa! Right, thank God I jumped over that. Or it missed me. Again, yeah, he's fairly easy. Just when he does that jump, just going for a few punches. I mean, look at that. We just already down to three bits of health left. Like he's blocking, but I think that's like block damage. This is pretty damn funny. Alright. So my TV is about to go into standby here. In three bloody seconds. Bear with me now, folks. Don't you hate when that happens? Should have had the remote next to me. Fuck it. Right. Oh, these guys are throwing dynamite. Oh, God. Right. Got these guys do that. Oh. That was a fucking explosive there. Right. Not to jump. So we get hit by spikes. And uh, this is pretty much the final climax for it, folks. Um, can't even speak. Uh, after this, we'll be finding the Joker. Which is actually funny, too, because in the movie... Um, 
It's actually said that the Joker killed Bruce Wayne's parents. Now, if you know your Batman lore, um, that isn't actually what happened, but it happens in uh, this movie though, which I don't know why they actually went with that. But uh, it's interesting nonetheless. Right. Um, again, such a great music track here as we're approaching the end. Well, again, very quick game. Like, we're like, a little over 30 minutes in. Like, I'm doing this in one whole video. Right. Well, obviously, when I put up on YouTube, I'll um, split it into parts as I'm about to go down here. And a bit of health, please. Show up, please. Batarangs. Don't want Batarangs. Right, up we go. As, uh, that's not Batarangs. Can I blow up, please? Oh, come on. Right when I was at it. I should use. Yeah, there we go, Batarang. Better be safe to use the old Batarangs. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, there was an extra life there, but... Ah, oh, fuck. We just gotta go all the way through this again. I did not know there was an extra life there. <laughs> Interesting. Right, we gotta go through this all over again. Oh, but... Won't take us long, though. We didn't get too far, really. Oh my god, those stupid explosives. Right, I have to jump here. Drop down. Kick this lad. There you go, bat ranks. Yeah, I'll use the bat ranks to take these guys out, like if I've any. I can just ignore him and get him. More bat ranks. Lovely jubbly. Oh, never mind, he's down. <laughs> right. I actually didn't mean that. Like, I pressed um, crouch and then I pressed C by accident to drop down. <laughs> That's what happened there. Didn't think there was an extra life there, though. That's, well, kind of a dirt move, I think. Right. Like, you go down and get an extra life, but you have to realize, oh, you gotta go through all that again with all the enemies respawn. Right, I lost the uh, life there, but no biggie, we got five. Or six, I should say, because zero does count as an extra life. Right, fuck off. Pretty stingy on health here. I could use it right now. Damn it. Don't you remember the time when Batman had to go through um, gar stone gargoyles that breathe fire? I certainly do. Right, just keep going. As uh, right, gotta watch out here. Actually, yeah, grab it up. Wait for it. That should have burned through the rope. Realistically. Oh, there we go. I was trying to see if I can. Um, Get that to blow up without uh, hurting me there. Sadly, it didn't work. Right. This time, don't um, drop down. I know there's an extra life there, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it, Batman. Right. Oh, did not think they'd. Oh god. Um, didn't think one of them would drop down. Oh fuck me. Well, we got plenty of health now, anyway, and we got more bat ranks. Didn't think that would platform would drop down. That's so annoying. Which means we gotta go through all these enemies, respawn once again. We got plenty of bat ranks, so let's take them out. Come on, there we go. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Ah, oh, this is a pain. Come on. Never said I was perfect at this game. I mean, we got, what, two game overs in this? I say there's, like, videos of a uh, no death run in this. Like, it's, I say it's doable, definitely. Right, just scrap it up here. Knee him in the face. Oh, never mind, just go up here. Uh, what is definitely bat ranks here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just jump over it. Okay. Lesson learned. If I play this again myself. 
me on time. Lovely stuff. Uh, okay, this time. Let's wrap it up real quick. There we go. Such a dick move to place explosives like that. I hate that. Oh, I thought my head was going to hit off the spike. Such a dick move to put spikes up there like that. I don't like things like that. Right, grappling up. Say we're close to uh, the Joker now. Say we definitely are. Oh, it's a bit of health. Um, whoa, fuck me. Jesus. Oh. Damn. I think that bit of health would have been nice right now. Oh, God. Oh. I was getting ready to jump, you bastard. Right. Is that it? Oh, here we go, folks. The Joker. Let's finish this. My right, Jack Napier. Jack Nicholson. Who, I will say, was pretty awesome as the Joker. Like, Heat Ledger, yes. Um, he, has a, he had a phenomenal performance as the Joker. Oh, my God. I'll just ladder a few bat ranks at you. D didn't think he did, never did that in the movie. I know he had that gun, but I didn't think he would do that. That's uh, let's knock him down. Let's, yeah, there we go. Down goes the Joker. Again, kind of inaccurate because Batman doesn't knock him off. Um, it was right. Joker has uh, slammed down to the ground from the top stair of the cathedral. Now Joker looks dizzy when his face ice cold, yet his teeth stuck and his eyes directed aimlessly towards the star sparkling night sky. And that concludes uh, this game, folks. Yeah, and again, kind of inaccurate because what actually happens in the movie is um, Joker actually falls when he was trying to escape. And I think Batman um, uses his grapple hook to grapple a, um, a stone gargoyle to his leg. You know, with the weight of the stone gargoyle, you know, drop the Joker down. That's that's how it happened. You know, I'm kind of nitpicking here, but, you know, I'm just stating the obvious. <laughs> but anyways, folks, that concludes this Let's Play of... Uh, Tim Burton's Batman on the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis if you're from America to uh, celebrate the 30th anniversary of uh, the movie and hope you guys did enjoy it I know it was like a very quick let's play I think this is only be like what two or three parts but I'm gonna leave it at that folks thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time